it's after midnight. It's about almost 40 minutes after midnight, and it is time for another Halloween Horror Nights 23 reveal. So, this actually started earlier today than normal. I want to see if anything else has been announced yet. Just give me one second. Yeah, very soon you're going to be getting a uh, reveal from uh, Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. So, uh, Hollywood will be coming up with a, it looks like a scare zone announcement in the next, like, 30 minutes or so. But, we're here to talk Halloween Horror Nights Orlando, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, we're going to talk about the start of this. And, there was a message posted on Facebook that said, We are forlorn like children and experienced like old men. We are crude and sorrowful and superficial. I believe we are lost. That's all we had to look on. That and this mysterious barcode. This mysterious barcode that was 12B2356. Well, if you look at the old logo from an old house from back in 2010, you'll see what this is leading to, and this was happened before anything uh, came its way, but I want to talk about a couple other things real quick first before I get into the actual announcement. This was officially announced uh, a couple minutes before midnight. Once again, Mike Aiello and his infinite wisdom came up with this little gem. It said, Escaping them will be a hard feat. The Dogs of War return to Halloween Horror Nights 23 in this original sequel house. It's going to be called Havoc Derailed. So, there was a cryptic comment from Dr. Jimmy that was Simon. So... Simon is the codename for Havoc Derailed, which has now been announced officially from Halloween Horror Nights. And it is our next reveal. It is our next to last reveal. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see soon. Simon. A lot of things come to mind. And I thought this was the prison house. Maybe, like, talk about, like, Simon Bolivar or something like that. I don't know exactly why. I just went with that would be the prison house. I even said in my speculation video that I didn't know why it was Simon, but it was Simon. But I was wrong. Sorrow and Disney was wrong. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out here. Simon. Simon is because of Simon Mann. Simon Mann is an author, but mainly a British mercenary. He was a officer with the British Army, serving a 34-year prison sentence in Equatorial Guinea for his role in a failed coup d'etat. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I'm not sure. It's kind of late, so maybe I got it incorrect. In 2004, before receiving a presidential pardon on humanitarian grounds in November 2009, this book was called... Cry Havoc. So yes, Havoc equals Simon, Simon equals Simon Mann, Simon Mann is the author of Cry Havoc. So, Mystic Freak, Heather Quackenbush, I'll take my sharp cookie from Dr. Jimmy. Thank you very much. So, uh, I may not even get that, but it would be nice to think about. I'd love to have me a nice soul sharp cookie for this, even though I still believe that I had Silencio before you did. But... That's another story altogether. I even brought up the Mulholland Drive influence. I brought up the Club Silencio and Rebecca Del Rio. I brought all that up in my explanation during my speculation video. But mine was posted in the video and everyone else's was posted on a message board. So, uh, eh, can't win them all. But this is the description of... Simon, and Dr. Jimmy even said so in the uh, flashback video the other day that it was going to be decrypted today, and that's exactly what's going to happen. So let's talk a little bit about Derailed, shall we? So, it's called Havoc Derailed. 
Warning, in this all-new original house, the train convoy has derailed and the bloodthirsty maniacs are loose. So, Mike Aiello, as he has done all week this week, he has put out a little pertinent information about the house. And he's basically said an experimental super soldier program known as the Dogs of War went horribly, horribly wrong. Shadow Creek, which was the base that housed the program, was lost, and the DOWs had taken it, but with great casualty, were eventually neutralized. So, they were neutralized for the time being. Six weeks have passed since the incident. The surviving DOWs are being transported aboard a military convoy train. That's where the derailed comes in. Shadow Creek was to continue experiments en route to uh, see if DOW subjects could be contained or pacified. Six minutes into that transport, all contact was lost. Now, supposedly this battle will begin in the claustrophobic confines of train cars and derail into all-out war amongst the twisted wreckage. So, like I said, 2010, Havoc Dogs of War, uh, actually, it was over in one of the sprung tents, and this time around, it's going to be in the disaster overflow queue, which is where The Walking Dead was last year. So, this will be interesting, and a lot of people are talking about, there's not great lighting in the sprung tents last time. Well, there's not great lighting in disaster either, is what someone else said. So, there's a back and forth, yada, yada, yada. So, this is our reveal. This is our sixth reveal. We have, according to a Mike Aiello, we have one more reveal this week. Apparently he did some pre-interviews today with his friend and the director of this intellectual property. He said this one's a passion project. Well, to surprise absolutely no one... Dr. Jimmy tomorrow will be decrypting balloons. And balloons, of course, equals out to an American werewolf in London, which means that Mike Aiello has been having some dialogue conversations with John Landis, which is really awesome because John Landis is really cool. So, like I said, apparently he's really wanted to do this. That's the definition of a passion project. He's really wanted to, do, to bring American werewolf in London Two Halloween Horror Nights, and there was a shot last year, but it kind of fell through. But everything fell into place like it should this year, and that's why we've got it. So, we'll talk about that tomorrow. And uh, a little birdie told me that um, there's seven houses that will be announced as of tomorrow, because we announced Havoc Derailed tonight. We well, should be announcing an American Werewolf in London tomorrow. Something tells me there's this... There's this corporation. There's this corporation that seems to like the colors, I don't know, maybe red and white. Seem to have some sort of a... Maybe a virus attached to them, potentially. That all signs point to they're holding back their supposed involvement in Halloween Horror Nights 23. So, we will get our seventh house revealed tomorrow. But... Apparently, there is another, well, let's just say uh, you might want to, uh, might want to protect yourself from the oncoming rain, and uh, if you know how to protect, protect yourself from the oncoming rain storm that is coming to Halloween Horror Nights 23 this year, then you'll know very quickly that it doesn't matter if you're alive or, well, if you're dead, or if you're maybe, oh, I don't know, undead, you may have a place to call your own sometime after September 20th. Yeah, I'm being a little cryptic on that one, but anybody who's watching these videos knows full well that the 8th house will be announced as the bringing of Resident Evil, the video game, not the movies, not based on the movies, it's based on the video game, Intellectual Property. And that is going to be revealed, we don't know exactly when, I'm going to guess that we're playing some sort of a gimmick that 
I know a lot of the Horror Nights updaters on a lot of the YouTube channels that talk about Halloween Horror Nights, they are being uh, investigated by uh, the Umbrella Corporation. So there's a possibility that that's the reason why we have not gotten our announcement for Resident Evil. And for those of you that are not in the know, and I'm guessing that's absolutely no one that's watching this video, for those of you that are not in the know that Resident Evil is coming to Halloween Horror Nights, then it's going to be an absolute surprise when after American Werewolf in London is announced and we decrypt balloons, there's going to be a, a Christine decryption as well. So uh, we'll find out in the near future, and I mean very near future, the full reveal, everything announced, and of course there was a map, a fan-created map, the, what we've heard, I was let out early for the event. Well, it's not officially the universal map for Hellion Horror Nights, but it's pretty much a guaranteed exactly where we're going to go. So, once we get our full reveal, I'll shoot my that video and we'll talk completely about the full reveal and what the ramifications of all the different IPs and original mazes for this year's Halloween Horror Nights event. So... I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this short for the night. Uh, tomorrow, the video will come a little bit later. I'm actually uh, going to go out watch Kick-Ass 2 and uh, Paranoia with my best friend AJ, who you also can find out here on Pop. He is uh, my movie reviewer, and he does regular movie reviews. And we have a segment called Versus, where we put two movies against each other. That's every Sunday here on Pop. If you want to check those out, you can. If you want to find out what movies to watch, or not watch in this case, you can check out AJ's movie reviews uh, playlist here on Pop. So, I uh, hope you guys and girls out there enjoyed the video. Once again, uh, shout out to uh, everyone in the Halloween Horror Nights community. Shout out to Dr. Jimmy. Shout out to uh, Vic. Shout out to Dr. Dr. Emmett Brown, shout out to uh, Psycho Massacre Films, shout out to uh, Admiral HHN and HHN Trogdor, shout out to all the awesome people involved with Halloween Horror Nights, I'll even shout out Mystic Freak, you are awesome and uh, you deserve every single smart cookie, even though I really think you should split that one in half with me for Silencio, because I had it first, but we'll prove that uh, saying somewhere down the road, so... Once again, if you like these videos, tell your friends about them. Do leave a comment. Do subscribe. Thumbs up these videos. Retweet these videos. Share them on your social media. If you want to tweet me, you can. You can follow me on Twitter. It's at Sir Owen Disney. If you want to email me, you can. Send me your comments, thoughts, criticisms, opinions, whatever you want to send me. You're more than welcome to. Sir Owen Disney at gmail.com. And you can find me on Facebook. It's Owen Disney. So uh, I'm easy to find, not hard to find, and uh, I most likely will be wearing either this Halloween Horror Night shirt or uh, my uh, Follow the Buzzards Wyatt Family shirt. So uh, that's going to probably be my garb of choice at Halloween Horror Nights this year because it fits the mantra of the event so, so well. So thank you guys out there and girls out there for watching. And until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all i got to say about that.